All right, when we're dealing with the coordinate plane, parallel lines have some very specific features. Um, remember that parallel lines are two lines that are on the same plane but never touch each other. Now, if we have these two lines here and they're never going to touch each other no matter how long they go, then any time one of them goes up and over to get from point to point, the other one must go exactly up and over the same amount in order for those two lines never to actually touch each other. If one of these went up faster than the other one, then sooner or later they'd run into each other. And since they don't, because they're parallel, that must mean that the rise and the run are exactly the same. So that tells us that parallel lines, parallel lines always have an equal slope. their slopes are always the same. Now that tells us too that um, if we know either the slope of one, we can find the slope of the other, or that if we need to find a line that's parallel to one that we have, all we need to do is move up or down the y-axis right here, and then use the same slope to find another line. For instance, if I wanted to find a third line that was parallel to these two, I just need to come down the y-axis to some other point, say down here at negative five, and then use the same slope, rise to run three, to get my next two points, and then connect those with a straight line. And we'd have another line that was parallel to the other two we already had, like so. So parallel lines in the coordinate plane have the same slope, and you can either use that to find the slope of one line that's already there, or you can find another line that has the same slope or that is parallel by just using the same slope and using a different y-intercept. And recall if you hadn't seen it before that that, oops, recall if you hadn't seen it before that that y-intercept, y-intercept is usually marked with a b. So a lot of times you'll see the formula y equals mx plus b, and that means that the y-coordinate is equal to the x-coordinate multiplied by the slope, and then with the y-intercept added. So whatever that distance is up and down on the y-axis, we just take that value and add it to the total to figure out what the y is. So for instance, say I had an x-coordinate of 2, yeah, and my coordinate or my equation of my line was y equals 2x plus 3. Yeah, So the slope was 2 and the y-intercept was 3. Then I'd just take the x value that I was given, the 2, and I'd multiply it by 2, which would give me 4, and then I'd add 3, which would give me 7. So I can take any x value and plug it in to find the corresponding y value. All right, let's take a look at some of the examples.